Yeah, you're on here. What's going on, guys? We got the DJ Spark 2. What? Check it out. Bam, it's a foldable spark with a newer controller. This is epic. FYI, haters going to hate. Type down below. This ain't a DJ Spark 2. Gotcha. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's going to be some mad people. JJRC. This came out with a GPS drone um, that looks lo much like a spark from the facial and folds like a Mavic. Let's get to it. I'm going to take the drone out and show you. I had to do it. Absolutely had to do it. Again, we have a facial like the spark. Looks like the spark folds like a Mavic. Um, the motors, although they look brushless, they're not brushless. They are brushed. Uh, that might be a pivoting one axis gimbal, but uh, it is not a uh, brushless two axis or a brushless one axis. I can guarantee that. Um, this this should be good. I, I've watched reviews of this. This is said to get like 200, 300 meters uh, on the FPV and uh, it's supposed to fly pretty stable, but let's get to it. Let's get to it. And actually, before we get to it, I want to touch on one other thing with the control. The case came with it. It's a nice ca case that comes with it. Um, Guys, do we remember the CG-033? Huge disappointment for me. Um, I remember the CG-033. Look at this control. Does it remind you of anything? Does it remind you of the CG-033? So we have a GPS drone for under $100 with brush motors running on almost the exact identical controller as the CG-033. And again, these are fake just like the CG-033s were, and they're, I, I think it's identical. I think this control is just about identical. Um, but let's go, let's go. We're gonna put these down. There's no reason for them to be up. We're gonna unfold this out. And again, guys, I'm terribly sorry if anybody can't take a joke. I know there's gonna be comments down below. Me, 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 that's not DJI. Me, 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 that's clickbait. Well, guys, uh, I like to have fun on this channel, and I know there's some people that just can't take a joke, and I like to kind of play on that. Um, I really do. Dude, my Tello 2 video is old as dirt. <laughs> it's old as dirt, guys. Um, I'm waiting for this to connect. I don't know if it, it did connect. I could show 8.4 volts on that. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect to the app. We have steady lights here. It's looking to be calibrated, but we're going to connect to the app first. Um, my Tello 2 video, which was a real act drone, which in the beginning, just like this one, I kind of uh, did a spoiler alert. I could have put a, I could have put a DJI logo on there. I could have got rid of the JJRC, but uh, I didn't. I, I tell it how it is, guys. Have a little bit of fun in the beginning, get people excited, and then let you down easy. I don't put a DJI lo logo on it. Fly it the entire time, and then at the end of the video. Oh man, that wasn't a spark too. No, it's JJRC. Uh, we're going to go into our settings. We're going to go into our Wi-Fi. We're looking for a Wi-Fi connection from this guy. It is 5G. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's searching JJRC 5C FOEB. It's uh, unable to join the network. Well, why? I want to join the network. Let me join that network. Bam, okay, we're joined. So if it says unable, just go ahead and back out and try it again. We're going to go into the app, which is JJRC TST. And then once we are connected there, we'll start screen recording. I didn't see an SD card on this, although I've seen really clean footage. Um, easy to fly anywhere, which is an advertisement. I'll skip um, JJRC drone. Connect to device. Allow. Okay, now we're going to start a screen recording. We're recording in three, two, one. The Spark 2 is recording. <laughs> I can get lots of hate, lots of thumbs down. I already know it. Um, <laughs> I had to. I had to do it. I'm sorry. For anybody that can't take a joke, uh, you're probably on the wrong channel. So, okay, we are here. I'm not seeing... I'm probably on the wrong one uh, because I'm not seeing the telemetry. Uh, so, I'm going to go back. And we're going to click drone. Let's swipe over. Yeah, I'm on the wrong drone here. We need to click. We need to get the drone that we have here. There's lots of drones in here. This app is going to control everything. This app will control your stove. Um, I think that's it. H71. That looks about right. Or no, H78G. I think it's the H78G. Um, connect to device. So we're connected now. Still not seeing any telemetry. Still not seeing any telemetry. I should have telemetry here. Um, let's see. Down and out. Should fire the motors. Or ends. 
down and out. Or no, it's looking to be calibrated, so I need to calibrate it first. Maybe that's why there's no telemetry. So we got blue and red blinking. Let's go ahead and do our little spinny, spin, spin. Uh, spinny, spin, spin. Spinny, spin, spin. We hear a beep. Now we are going to go nose up. I like nose up. I've seen another reviewer do nose down, but uh, heads up, seven up. Who remembers that game? Who remembers that game? Beep, beep. No, it should be good. Should be good. I still have no telemetry on here, which is no bueno for me. Um, again, maybe I'm not in the right part of the app. 3D. I should have some type of telemetry on here. Let's let's just go one more over, over, over. Seven. No, that should be it. That should be it. Um, unless it's this one. Connect to device. I don't know. I'm not seeing no telemetry. Let's see, uh, 3D, I'm looking for telemetry on here. I'm not showing no telemetry. Let's go down and out. That'll fire the motors. I should, my telemetry on here should work, so we're going to go up. Easy, let's go up. Um, it shows that I'm connected to 16 satellites. My altitude is raising. It's still raising. It's still raising. Can we sit? Can we chill? Can we chill? I think it started to chill. I don't think we're raising anymore. I could be wrong though. Um, height's showing six meters and it is stable at six meters. So let's go ahead and drop this down. Let's get a cover photo for the Spark 2. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I said it again. I said it again. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, this is not the most serious channel in the world. I got wind blowing that way. Um, it is fluctuating in altitude. It seems to have held now. DJI Spark 2 coming at you on the Jet Drone channel. Yeah! You could hate me now, but I won't stop now. That's kind of dating me with that song. Again, I don't see telemetry on this. I've seen telemetry on other people's apps. Yeah, I do have telemetry on here. Let's go ahead and do a 100 meter run out. I know what 100 meters looks like. Let's also record. I also don't see recording on here, which kind of sucks. Um, let's long hold this. So that should have took a picture. I don't know. So we're just going to have to go by, uh, we're going to have to just go by, what should we call it here? So the telemetry looks like it's working really well um, off of this. Okay, so 30 meters, we hit a geofence. Um, I'm aware that there's a 30 meter geofence. It smacked right in that geofence's wall. It bounced back 26 meters. If you long hold the hold, uh, the home, return home, one, two, three, four, five, we should be in big boy mode. So we are going to, we are at 26 meters. We're going to try to go out further than 26 meters. And we want to go this way away from that power box over there. And we, we are, we're 48 meters away. Video feed on this is pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's get my hands out of the way. They're filled with uh, agua. Agua is no good for a uh, signal. And I'm just looking at this. You guys will be able to see the FPV on this. Um, we are froze up on my FPV. I can still see the drone, so I'm going to push it up. And I'm going to keep flying. I'm going to keep flying here. I'm flying by line of sight now. There, it just came back at 131 meters. Let's go ahead and push this up more. Let's go ahead and raise this up pretty high. Let's raise it up pretty high. Let's see if that signal will bounce to us. Bounce, bounce. Let me get that signal. It ain't bouncing to us. So I'm still going forward anyway. Um, and we are at 170 meters. I'm judging this off of the screen now. We are at 187 meters, 192 meters. We are at 200 meters. I could still see it. We're at 200 meters, 211 meters. We are at 216 meters. This is my first flight too. This isn't a smart thing to do on your first flight. 245 meters from a toy grade from the Spark 2. What? Um, 263 meters, 276 meters, 282 meters. We are almost at the advertised 300 meters. Uh oh, we got a beep. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to go forward despite the beep. 
Okay, so we have a 300 meter geofence. They were correct. They rated this at 300 meters. I'm just going to pull back. It's going to come back to me. Um, they rated this at 300 meters, and uh, it was correct, man. It was absolutely correct. This thing just did 300 meters, um, which is pretty epic for uh, a brushed spark lookalike. Um, and it is coming back. We are coming back. It's sad that we don't have an SD card. I need an SD card. This did, dude, this got epic range. This got epic range. This just ate the breeze uh, three times over. <laughs> Too bad we don't got the video to show it. Hopefully, let's see if this uh, logs back in here. And I don't know what what's wrong with my uh, why I didn't have any type of uh, telemetry on my app here. I got I could be using the wrong the wrong part of the app. There's so many options on the app. We're going to bring it back this way. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. It's not auto-connecting. It's pretty sporty. Let's see. We got we got speed modes. Easy there, buddy. Easy. The altitude fluctuates a little bit. Um, so we got second speed here. We're still not connected. I'm going to stop my screen recording. We'll start it again, though. Um, we are at 7.5 battery. We're just going to speed around with this. Going to speed around with this. So this might be an AIO candidate. Maybe uh, disregard the camera that's on it because it's Wi-Fi and there's not an SD card. But dude, 300 meters, it's a lot further than I took uh, the Alsema CG033. <laughs> um, 300 meters, that's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. The FPV lasted uh, about to half of that. Flyability on this is feeling good. It's looking nice. Um, we're gonna get this down in our face. Throw on the brakes. We're gonna bring it over here. Um, we do have the red lights in the front. I'm not sure what they were thinking with that and blue in the back. Uh, let's put those red lights in the back. Can we get red lights in the black back, please? Uh, we are going to, let's see, try to chop off my head. Woo! We'll bring it back. Just trying to get some type of uh, screenshot here. And maybe I should do that in slow mode. Slow mode. Yeah. Um, what I want to do here, though, I want to, oh, that's why. Maybe that's why. My iPhone just shut down, <laughs> so hopefully that screen recording saves so I could show you something. Um, it's cold out here. iPhone don't like the cold. It uh, the, it kills the battery in the cold. That's sitting really nice now. It's not toilet bowling or anything. Um, we are going to get all up in his grill. Let's get a grill shot. Grill shot. Meow. Cool drone. Really cool drone. Comes with a cool case. Um, does what it's supposed to, does what it was advertised to, 300 meters out. And this did beep at 300 meters. Um, let's go ahead and try return home. Let's go ahead and run about 150 out. Let's run 150 out. Do, 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 do. And again, I'm judging this off of the telemetry on the screen, which is working well. The CG033's telemetry never really worked well. Um, and it looks identical controller. So we are out, doo, doo, doo. and you might be able to change that uh, geofencing 300. Maybe we could change that higher. Um, we need to raise this up. Let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit. I'm going to hit return home, and hopefully this comes home, but that will let you guys know if I don't get my drone back. <laughs> you ain't going to get your drone back. Return home. Press return home. It's beeping. It's raising an altitude. I'm losing distance on my telemetry here. So this will also go to show you, you don't need the app to fly, um, which is cool because again, we could throw AIL on top of that. What's it doing? What's it doing? Are we coming home? Yes, we're, we're at 112 meters. Um, and you can go out. You can go out a decent while. So if you got a, if you got a light Mobius, maybe you want to throw this on with the AIO, get some nice footage. Um, it's portable. We got a, we got a nice case there. Shoop. Dude, it's almost on point. Where are you going? Almost on point. Let's see where it goes. The Spark 2 is amazing! <laughs> Dude, that's on point. Over here, which I just adjusted it to the left, is right where it took off, and I will stomp my foot where it was. We're, we're going to cancel it. I've canceled it and it's landing anyway. Maybe the voltage is too low. Right here is where I just stopped my foot, where my foot is. That's where it was gonna land. 
Um, we are getting a beeping for LVC, I, I assume. Um, and I just adjusted it to move over here. We got flashy red, so I don't know if we could even take off again. We can. I'm going to push it. Push it to the limit. Anybody know that song? Dropped a couple songs on you today. Couple songs on you today. Oh no! What'd it do? I don't know what that was about, unless that was that strong wind that kind of buckled a little bit. Yeah, it had to have been that wind. Is it trying to land or is it chilling? It's chilling. It's chilling. This did come with two batteries. Um, it came with two batteries, so that's pretty epic. This will only allow you to fly uh, a certain distance up. Let's see. When it's in uh, LVC mode, I don't know if you can hear that wind. We'll fly over here. We'll try to face the wind, so maybe you could hear it. We're dealing with the wind. It's flying in the wind well. It's flying directly into the wind. Um, I'm impressed. All in all, guys, the, the, initial, the initial title of this video was a mild joke. Um, just because, dude, my Tello 2 videos are old as dirt. And of course, they weren't a Tello 2, it was a real act drone, which I made very clear, but I made the comparison for a reason, and some people didn't get that, because they are DJI or die. There's no other drone in their book besides a DJI drone, and if that is you, I am terribly sorry. There's a lot of drones out there. There's drones that will beat a DJI drone, and there's drones that are very comparable, and this one is not comparable to a Spark by any means, besides the look, but... For, for the money, for a G brush GPS drone that can go out 300 meters, I'm very impressed with that. Um, I would have liked to have seen it go out further because, uh, and again, the wind's bullying it around a little bit. Um, I would have liked to have seen this thing uh, go out a little bit further because I don't think connection was an issue. I really don't. So I think it's actually geofenced at 300 meters, which isn't a bad thing. But for me, I would like to go further. And again, you can see it tilting its back end into the wind. It's doing what it's supposed to. Um, I would have liked to see it go further, and again, I don't think my app was functioning properly because I didn't have my telemetry on the bottom, and maybe in the settings, we can uh, adjust it to big boy, big boy distance, go out 500 meters, because again, I think, I think the controller to drone wasn't an issue, man, was not an issue. What is this? I got like a jet coming over, uh, coming over my flight field here, or a big, dude, that's a massive plane. I don't know if you guys could see it. Sit drone. It might not sit because uh, of the wind. It is. It's 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 leaning back. Lean back. Lean back. There there. There's another song reference. If you know the song references, down low. Get at me. Title of the song and also artist. That's a fun game. Look at this plane, dude. What are you doing over here? I've never had a plane fly directly across this way. I don't know if you guys can see that. You are interrupting the J-Drone show. <laughs> That's a decent sized plane and it's flying pretty low. It's flying pretty low. I think you should be up a little bit higher. Drone's still chilling over there. We've been off the sticks for a minute. It's still chilling over there. Um, we're at 7.1. 7.1. I don't know when this thing's going to land. I don't know when it's going to land, but I don't want to destroy the battery. Although we have two batteries, so for the good of YouTube, we might destroy a battery here, unless it's going to land itself. Um, voltage on here shows 7.1. Things just sitting. We can run around in circles around. Look, Ma, no hands. Haha, <laughs> no hands. It might be landing now. Are we landing? Or are you just losing altitude? We'll raise it up a little bit. Might have just been losing altitude. Now we are gaining altitude. So the altimeter or the barometer, my barometric meter, something along those lines inside it isn't precise and takes a little bit to adjust. It is really cold outside. I don't know if that has an effect with it or not. Um, we do still have the flashy reds. Flashy reds, as you might be able to see here. Um, when's it going to drop? When is it going to drop? What type of total flight time are we going to get? You can judge the flight time from when we took off because uh, we did not crash. We didn't crash this at all. Just going to move it around here, move it around, round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody will know. Is it going to do a face plant or is it going to lower its voltage slightly and say, hey, dude, I've been beeping forever. I've been beeping forever. 
I'm at 7.1 volts, you need to land me. Right now it's increasing altitude. Where's it going? Hopefully I don't gotta chase this. <laughs> I think it's just returning home, which we were kind of already home. It's coming down. So there you go. At seven volts, the readout on your screen at seven volts, this will start beeping crazily. It'll shoot up in the sky and scare you a little bit and then come down just about where we took off. That was a better sit down. That was a better return to home. The last one was over here. I believe we took off from there. We're gonna go ahead and shut this nonsense off. We're gonna shut this off. So as far as the app goes, might have been too cold, might have been on the wrong setting. Um, I don't know, but as far as the drone goes, I'm really impressed. Dude, we got a 20 minute flight. I, I, it's probably not a 20 minute flight. I'm gonna gauge it probably at about 15 minutes because I, I did a little bit of jabba jawing in the beginning. And again, that JJRC logo right there, I could have put a DJI sticker on them. I have them, but uh, I, I, I didn't want to be that deceptive because come the end of the video, if you thought this was a Spark 2 and then I unleashed it, it was a JJRC, pulled the sticker off and showed JJRC, might have some serious hate towards J Drone. Um, <laughs> But it is what it is, guys. Um, really cool drone. We definitely got to get this out on a warmer day. My hands are turning pink. Um, it's cold out here. Uh, I like it. I like it. And might as well. Camera's still rolling. Might as well put it away. Might as well show you how to put it away. Pop open the Spark 2's case. And there you can see the other battery right there. We'll show you the battery, too. Um, it is a proprietary battery. But... USB, uh, micro USB plugs into it. If you lose the charger, you are good. Um, it is also a uh, 7.4, 900 milliamp an hour. 7.4, 900 milliamp an hour. The drone itself doesn't weigh much um, at all. We're gonna go ahead and stick that back in there. We're gonna put this down here. Link for this will be down below. As always, I try to link stuff that I'm using. That way it's easier for you guys to find. I think a bird pooed on, pooed on it. We just wiped off like bird poo, I think. <laughs> Might've got pooed on in the sky. That's probably a DJI fanboy. Again, I'm not knocking DJI. I have a Spark, I have a Tello, I have a Phantom. I like DJI. But the term DJI fanboy is the term that goes with the people that say DJI or die. There's no other drones besides DJI in their book. Um, so that's what a DJI fanboy is. If that's you, you should broaden your perspective. Um, guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you want to help support the channel, there will be a PayPal link down below. Um, you can click on it. You can give me a dollar. You can give me 50 cents. You can give me five dollars. You can give me a mil, and we will get tons of drones on this channel. Um, dude, I like the portability. I absolutely like the portability. Um, we're going to have to FPV this little AI on top of it, see how it goes, and I think this is going to be well worth its money. Um, I love cases. Love me some cases. Later.